This is the radio operator of the spacefaring vessel, LB-01. We were given the mission of broadcasting the serialized gaming podcast, Safe Space, to as many people as we possibly could. If you can hear this message, then clearly it's been a success. If that's the case, then you should know that what you're about to listen to is a tabletop role-playing game where five people roll dice and tell a story of science fiction and survival horror using the Mothership game system by Tuesday Night Games. It was originally formatted for YouTube, but the records have been modified for an optimal audio experience. However, be warned, this is a survival horror podcast, and there may be descriptions of violence, gore, psychological terrors and mental trauma that some listeners may find disturbing. If you're still out there, then make sure you have your stim packs ready and whatever refreshments you may need. I'm starting the data recording playback now. This is Safe Space, episode three. Audio file name, Cut and Run. Last time, the crew of the O'Brien evaluated the damage done to their ship by a large piece of space debris. They had avoided catastrophic damage, but work still needed to be done to patch up the vessel and make sure everything was running smoothly again. So the ship continued on their path. First to the decommissioned and derelict satellite relay station, Echo 237, to salvage what they could before filling the rest of their cargo storage with whatever they could cut and scrap from the vessel. When they arrived, they found the relay station, a way off of its supposed coordinates, and with a good chunk of it missing. This confirmed Dr. Forrest's earlier theory that what almost took out the O'Brien was indeed part of this relay station, although he had a few whiskies by then, so he wasn't completely sure of what he had seen. That may be a character trait that will come back. (laughs) Eager to salvage what they could, the captain piloted the ship ship close enough for her team of four to spacewalk slash jump onto the vessel and begin their work. Not entirely an easy task due to its continual spinning movement and Zam Brazel almost got knocked off course and into space had it not been for Dr. Forrest helping him back onto the structure. In quite a heroic move. An unexpected move. When you got it. (laughs) He says now. (laughs) They began a search and found it to be very much derelict, and apart from the red emergency lighting, devoid of any signs of power. That was until Dick Sloan found that, strangely, this relay seemed to have received some kind of transmission at some point. But when he tried to reconnect the hardware to play it, it almost started a fire. The storage cartridge was almost destroyed until fellow crew member Wendy stepped in and using a cool head, titanium toothpick, and military precision, she managed to retrieve it. Meanwhile, Zam and the Doc were looking for power cells, and eventually found a smaller one that had been left over from its earlier time. In his eagerness to retrieve it, Zam did not see that part of the debris and loose wiring that hung from a damaged ceiling panel suddenly came to life. It was a nightmarish amalgamation of cables, wires and flesh, 
and Dr. Faris watched as it began to attack Zam. Soon the entire crew were caught in a life and death struggle with this horrific creature. But thanks to some quick thinking, str strong upper body strength, a metal coffee cup and the power cell itself, the monster was launched out into space by Dick shortly before it broke into the casing of the, sh the power cell and exploded. And that's where we pick up our story this week. As all this a debris is floating in space, alongside you know bits of this creature, you stand upon the deck of this damaged re relay station, looking out into the chaos beyond. And it's the, st the structure still continues to its turning motion, and the voice of Captain Austin crackles into life once more over the radio. What the hell was that? Are you guys okay? I can't. I haven't got a visual on you. Are you okay? We, we're all present and correct. What that was, nobody fucking knows. I saw an explosion. Is, is, is part of this vessel still active? Um... No, not, not anymore. Okay, um... Are the rest of them with you, Doc? Yes, yes, we're all all here, and everyone's okay. I mean, I haven't uh, checked anyone's pulse yet, but uh, as far as I can tell, they're all walking around, which is usually a good sign of being, you know, alive. Okay, okay. Well, I'll try to get into a place where I can get a visual on you all again, but um. Just don't go messing with anything that's going to explode again, because this ship is pretty close to that relay station. Just, just be aware of that. Try not to blow anything else up. Ah, that Zan. thing had it coming. What, what, what thing are you talking about? I don't know what it was. He's the doctor. Ask him. It, it, there was a small biological component, and the rest of it was machinery. That's beyond my expertise. Oh, are we talking some kind of? Is something alive on there? Not anymore. Oh Jesus! Although we've we've not completely checked out the ship, so there might be more. Yes, there could be another one, Captain. I'd like to come back to our ship, please. What the rest of you think? Do you think that Doc should come back? Oh, no. We need him. Definitely. There's going to be more of these things. If, if we're staying here, then I would like medical expertise nearby. I don't know what's happened to my boys. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, it's, it's the shot <laughs> fear, fear will do that to you, honey <laughs> um, Well, Doc It seems like the rest of them are going to stay on that thing And unless you want to take a space walk by yourself Hey, this is the ticket you bought, my friend just keep them safe. You're the only one. If anything goes, I mean, something exploded out there. I'd like. I feel a lot better knowing that someone like you is on that vessel that can patch up anything that might go wrong. I. Well, just be careful. And if it gets too hairy, then just come straight back. I just tried to do that, but. I was talking to the rest of them, Doc. I know Don't you. Worry, want to. I know you want to. Leave. <laughs> and you look at um, as Dick is stood there, he's absolutely covered in like this horrible dark oily substance from where he was wrestling with this creature. It's almost like engine oil, but a little more I, solid in places. Can I take a sample of that? You certainly can. You've got your you've got your sample kit with you. I did. Yeah. You can I see do. that definitely, like, where you had hold of this creature as well, there's some, definitely there's there's a bit more lumps of organic, seemingly sort of 
Is it collected sludge or is there something organic in there? You can definitely take a few samples. You can drop that into a take a couple of samples if you yeah. want. Scrape it off and put it in. Uh... Mm. You've probably got a decent amount on your hands, so if you want to just literally just put it into the case from your, from your glove, yeah. you can. So yeah, just mark down that you have a sample a sample of this strange oily goo. Oily goo. Um, one thing that you do also notice stood kind of near the edge of where you because you walked towards the edge of this satellite relay to launch this thing, didn't you, Dick? Yes. And where the the floor has torn off, and you can see like the the insides and everything, you can notice there is there is more of this oily substance around the tear. It's like a strange organic substance. It's, it's almost like something's ripped across it and left like a, a mark and a trail here. That's concerning. <laughs> Do you, you're closest to this at the moment, Dick. The others aren't with you because you walked ahead and threw this thing off. You're mm. the only one that sees this. Okay, noted. But I've not told anyone yet. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, and Dick turns around and you can see that he is plastered with this goo. I hope he doesn't eat through the soup. soon find out and certainly Zam you can see that there's like some of this substance is on your shoulder as well where this thing crawled across and you've got a bit of a smear yeah. across your visor from where this, this thing is anyone who came into contact with this thing probably Wendy is the one that has the least amount on her vac suit because she walked up and just jammed a coffee cup into this thing's mouth <laughs> um, but no you are you are there on the edge where would you like to go? Sam, do you want to try and find another power cell? Uh, there's nothing else back in there in those power cell rooms. I don't know what to clean them out, but that was the last one. That was the last one. It looks like it. I can go back and investigate if you want. Well, I recommend we stick together. Second... Okay. You go first, Sam. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'll make my way to the power cell room. Okay, is this back... The, um, is the this... second power cell room we did say was empty, didn't we? Yeah, it was empty. But <clears throat> it yeah. was sort of like still in disarray, like there were cases and stuff that had yeah. been tipped over from where this thing has been shook up. But it wasn't as bad as the other power cell mm. room, which had like stuff hanging from the yeah. ceiling. Of which, like, if when you go back to the power cell room and open it up, there are still wires sort of hanging down. But this thing was almost am- amongst them. It was an individual yeah. thing. So yeah, na- go now, back. yeah, have another look through the uh, the cases and stuff. See if we can find any power cells. Um, and there are no more power cells left in this structure. Is there anything else of interest in this particular room? No. Which one are we in? The first one or the you're second? In the, you're in the first one. Okay, so I'll make my way to the second one. Okay. The and Scooby Gang behind me. The, the, the Scooby <laughs> Gang, and you follow I've got it. my foam gun at the ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and certainly you you reach the other one that you were, you first. Uh, I think, I think Win- Wendy helped you break into it, if I remember yeah. correctly. Cut yeah. through the door. Yeah. Yeah. So the door is it's once again sort of, it's pretty much been pushed aside and you can see that this particular yeah it's devoid of power cells there's no more power cells in this place and what about anything else of interest uh, no you've taken everything the, the key card that was in this room yeah mm, okay but the red light the red emergency lighting is still sort of flashing in the back um, sort of further in from Zam's point of view, then I think tools and maintenance and the vaccine storage would be next to try and plunder. <laughs> plunder, I love that you're now plundering this <laughs> place. Um, and you head <clears throat> around the, the curve of this sort of vessel, and you do see there are more sort of panels that have like fallen off, and like some there are sort of 
screws and all kinds just floating through space and through zero g um but zam his as he begins stepping into the red light all of your sort of the vac suit lights that clear clear light it's quite a striking sort of vision in, amongst all this red light you, you four walking further in and you step to the left um i'm going to bring up the map overlay for our lovely audience um and I'm going to... They can't see it at the moment, but let's just bring that up. So, <clears throat> you step around uh, to the left side, as we're looking at the map, of the satellite relay. And there is a door which is shut. It does have a keycard um, slot and a keypad. Uh, 8421, please. <laughs> and certainly after the... <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it sort of it doesn't open straight away. It is like a it has this is a who knows how long this thing's been here, um, but it does eventually open. And uh, leaving... thanks, Drake. <laughs> of course, it was Drake's card that you had, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so and to the to the right, you see a, like a, a another metal door that says tools and. Tools and maintenance equipment, and to the left there is a sign that says vac suit storage. You notice that this area, um, where's the rest of it? it? Seems to be in a bit more disarray, and you know, the panels falling off and wires and all stuff. This, this seems a little more how it should be, if that makes sense. Um, so, which one do you want going first? Both have shut doors, and you don't have to go through the code every time. Oh, well, if, if you just oh, okay. sort of say, I use the, the card, that would be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can go into yeah. that. Um, I think <clears throat> tools and maintenance first. Okay. And uh, Zam is a man on a mission, sort of just heading just straight into the tools and maintenance. And you do see that this <clears throat> this certainly is, is a sort of storage area that had a lot of stuff in here. But, of course, this was a relay station which was decommissioned. And, mm -hmm. you know, you're picking up the dregs of whatever was left over. Um, so there's a lot of like storage boxes. There, there are a couple like storage crates um, that are sort of floating in the air. Maybe maybe if they had stuff in them, they would have been weighed down. But you do yeah. see on the wall um, of this place there is a sort of a there's a kit that seems to be welded to the wall um, that says um, emergency kit written on it. It has no it's, there's no key card or anything for it. It's just like a straight up sort of like fire safety kind of kit that's okay over there. <clears throat> can we can we open that you can open it in there you yep. find um it's quite interesting actually there's a first aid kit yeah there's a that. there's a stim pack there's a couple there's three round magnetic torches and what i mean by this is they are well, they're exactly what this is, what the description is. Um, but they are more. When I'm thinking more, they're like flat discs that you activate, yeah. and then you can imagine you were fixing your car engine and you wanted to put something on the yeah, bonnet I know, so you yeah. can see that. Yeah, just yeah. stick them up where yeah. my brain went. How, yeah. ma <laughs> how many of those are there? There are three of those. Three. Mm. Okay. Yeah. There are three flares. Yeah. And, and there is another another box within it which is set in inside it, another sort of case when do you cool. immediately kind of clock what kind of case kind of case this would be this is a firearms case it's closed currently but no, when Sam's going to try and open that as well yeah um, that has a lock on it a key code okay uh, 8421 Click, click. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to make. Do I have? <laughs> I'm going to make eight four two on my lucky number. Okay. Um, there is a pistol and right. six six rounds of ammunition. What is it? Six rounds of ammunition. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you imagine, um, Wendy, I believe one of your mm -hmm. um, you've got rim wisers. You're you're you know a lot about like the outer I, yeah yeah 
it's no Friends. and also with um your knowledge you know it's no stranger like these sort of outposts and things like that i mean this may have been a relay station but if it's in the middle of nowhere they've got to have something just in case there are pirates or some sort of someone tries to get involved so there's <clears throat> that's why they have a firearm there um i look at zam and just kind of go oh. as in hand it over and I also want at least one of the flares. <laughs> I was going to divvy it all up. <laughs> 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 through my list. Divvy it all up. Wow. <laughs> First aid kit and the stim pack are going to the dock. Obviously. Very, very yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> you divvy yeah, cause it all I wouldn't, up. I wouldn't really know that you're... Um, and I swear I was going to divvy it all up. Um, Just I wouldn't writing really my Christmas list. Yeah, um, yeah. I think I'll give. Um... You've never seen Wendy use a firearm, but no. there's a there's a look that she gives you when she yeah. says, "Give it here." That says, "Yeah, there's um, a confidence." You know, Am I? I would be correct in suggesting that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think Zam would would pick up on how confident she is with stuff anyway. So, mm. yeah, the pistol and the six rounds mm. go to Wendy. The, the 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 rounds are not currently in the pistol. Just to let you know, it's just mm-hmm. pistol, yeah. pistol mag. No, I, I don't think Zam would be really that happy about having a gun, to be honest. Mm. So, um, yeah, that goes to Wendy. Um, and then... Uh, Flare each to Wendy, Dick and the Duck. Dick and Duck. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, God. In the bungalow. In the bungalow. Oh my God! <laughs> God. <laughs> the relay station. Uh, the Andy, Dick, Dick and Doc in the satellite dark. relay. Uh, okay. um, and then I think I'm going to keep one of the torches and just offer the other two up to whoever whoever wants them. Wendy gives you a dismissive look. What? You oh. don't want a torch? No? Okay. I'll, so, I'll, I'll take a torch. Yeah, Dick and... <laughs> well, I'll take one too. Dick and Doc again. Okay. And that's the that's the fruits of the labour from the tools and maintenance. You do... Uh, that's I, it, is it? I would, <clears throat> say, I would say you'd see like a, a loose wrench just slowly floating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And an empty water bottle, but other than that, just floating in space. Unless I'll you, take the wrench just yeah, in case. Yeah, you do not. You do not have a bag of holding, so just just be prepared for if if you're taking a lot of stuff. What's a Mother bag of fucker? Ho- what's a bag of holding? <laughs> um, so in but days like, gone by. But like I say, they're, they're in in this particular a lot of yeah in this particular <clears throat> sort of place. As I said, there were some storage boxes that seemingly just got emptied and then left. Okay, can we yeah. find maybe a tool kit of infinitude? <laughs> Roll for perception. No, um, <laughs> um, no, so it's up to you. But bear in mind, if you have anything to carry these things, you'll be taking these things with you. So just bear that in mind. Yeah, I'm not saying it's going to weigh you down, but probably not in zero g. You'll just be just be dragging it along with you. <laughs> um, is there anything like what are the empty crates or in, how big are these crates? Um, is it worth? Yeah, well, I mean, there's a couple of de- uh, decent sized ones, but there's also like the, the smaller, yeah. let, let's say a, a cool box size, if you want to take a couple yeah. of things. I think, yeah, we'll take. I'll take one of those. Yeah. Um, if you just wanted to put some stuff, and it, it certainly has like a, a vacuum sort of seal on it. If you put something yeah. in it, you just go. Tchoo. So, it's just a handy way to yeah. collect stuff while you're walking around. See, in this game, it's, they, it's figuring out what works with the vac suits and stuff because these guys are yeah. still walking around in zero G. <laughs> well, I got a Benice slung on my back yes, so I can carry. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can he, put my wrench in. He my does cup. have a huge laser cutter strapped to his back as well. Yes. Um, yeah, and I figure the um, magnetic torch would go in the crate as well for now, so. Okay. I'll just be carrying the small crate mm. then. You could also, if you wanted, you could slap one of them on the side of Benice and use it like a light. That's a good idea, actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to upgrade Benice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's nothing else worth uh, checking out? Uh, not in this particular room, no. Yep. 
Okay. Is uh, is Zam still in charge at this point? Or... Wendy if... is interested in the airlock and just if it looks like it was... If it's in any way damaged or... This particular section, as, as you wander over and you do see, like, you know, the... The monitor that would be like for the decompression and all that kind of stuff. It, it looks fine, and everything kind of looks. This this part looks fairly kind of untouched. It seems the closer it gets to where the place was hit, the worse it kind of gets. We all happy to move to vaccine storage and see what's in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is uh, what? is Zam leading the way again? Just pushing him in front. Oh, go on, push him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, like you say, Zam's going to be quite focused on junking and trunking there. So yeah, yeah. Go on, backseat storage. Yeah. yeah. Um. Once again, you, you get using the key card. You get eight four two one. Eight four two one. Um. It's, I'd imagine it's probably one of those ones where you have to swipe it and then put in the the, the key okay. code. Um. Just for a bit of flavour. But this is. There's really not much in here. There's no there's no vac suits. You can see the frames that were for um I think three vac suits is what you see. Um but there's no there's no suits there. Um however you do see um there is a box and in this room there are two patch kits for the vac suits. Okay. You'd imagine there was more. Um, you you can see that they had a lot more here, but that's all that's been left over. I'll hand the patch kits to Wendy and Doc. Because I've already got my patch kit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And for instance, um, if you're for for lovely players and anyone watching watching at home, their vac suits have an AC. They have an ar- they have armor points, um, and there are different armor points based on the sort of kit you're wearing. Vac suits have armor points of three. So if anything happens to them, if anything does not damage that is over three points, it will tear into this vac suit and almost render it useless. Um, they, so they would need to use a patch kit just to, but it doesn't fix the suit it's not a magical but it will stop them going do you know what I mean but it would take a whole turn it would take a whole that's a process uh, yeah. sir yes <laughs> dick does that, <laughs> does that does that count for me um you I mean you have the the armour points but you don't need oxygen so, so if I've Fudge up my suit. Yeah. I just have a hole in my suit. Yeah, it's yeah. it's something you wouldn't yeah. you wouldn't need to rush to fix it. And it's like it's like probably probably would want to rush rush to fix yeah. it. Yeah. Very Although I'd, I'd imagine if your suit was filling with water, um, you would or, or something was getting in and you didn't want stuff to get in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. Still, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, okay. But once the what, once so... the suit is damaged, once the armor's gone, um, once you patch it. It goes back to it only has one point of armor, then. So it's safe to use. I, I imagine it's like that um, in the film *The Martian*, when Mark Watney has he's fixing, he's got to fix, he's using the tape to fix everything yeah. before he dies horribly. It's that kind of thing. Um, so that's how um, patch kits will work. The spaces where the vac suits were, yeah, are there like any name plates on there? Yes, you do see one. Yeah. Well, you see two actually. Yeah. Um, t- there's only two names. You see. Okay. Um, Warren Drake. No, Warwick Drake is on one. Sort of printed Warwick in a sort Drake, of stencil yeah. behind the space where one was. And Ethan Vickers is on the other. Okay. And you said there was a box? Yeah. Going to tentatively open that like the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> <laughs> In this box, you find another patch kit. Oh, there are. Dick and a Capri it. Sun. No, you don't. Yay! Oh, oh, what? Yeah. Zam tries to get the straw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, his suit. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, so a good. straw. I can kill a man with a straw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll well if you get if you roll a critical, Wendy, you could do it. <laughs> I saw a kill a man with a Capri Sun straw once. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll Lucas, give the um, the uh, the patch kit to Dick then, just in case. Okay. okay. Well, thank you. 
I sort of look at it, puzzling. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we heading next, gang? In the, the looting and checking of this station. Zam. Yeah? What is it we're looking for, exactly? I'm just looking for anything that could be uh, useful. Uh, kind of glad we got a weapon, just in case we see you know, another one of those things. Uh, now we got some patch kits in case we get damaged. Uh, what else do you want to find? I'm not sure. It's, it's quite a derelict station, and uh, most of the equipment seems obsolete. Is there anything good in uh, in the computer room? No, I found this, and I hold up the. Um, what is it? It's an old, it's an old sort of like data cartridge. Yeah, it's something um, you would you would know, Zam, because you're quite sort of handy with like mechanics and stuff. It's an old sort of recording system. They're not. I mean, yeah. they're old, but they're not you have to totally old. It to it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. we got uh, some back on the ship that might be able to read that. Oh, good, because I nearly set fire to the other one. <laughs> set fire in space. That's a good job. <laughs> <laughs> don't be that don't be that guy, Zam. <laughs> <laughs> it's Zam <laughs> There's a Zam's t-shirt. Gonna teach it's you all Zam. about physics. Zam's gonna teach you all about physics. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine um, he's drawn like the character from Fallout. <laughs> um, right. so, so what about so have we checked the monitoring station? No, we didn't get round that far. No? Me and Wendy yeah. checked out mm-hmm. the, was it the access the, terminal, monitoring station you, and the, system. the middle bit. They did not do yeah. the access terminal. Okay. We didn't do the access terminal and we didn't do the bottom communication monitoring station. Mm. Okay. Section, so. Yeah, they have. Let's go back and do those. Stuff? They haven't. They haven't been down to the living deck. Mm. No. no, we haven't gone downstairs yet. Have no. we? And is that accessed by that little ladder? The li- there's a little ladder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is literally a physical ladder. There's no lift or anything in this place. It's... Yeah, so I figure we make our way back. Maybe check out the monitoring station and the access terminal. Mm-hmm. You and see a lot of um, to living quarters. Then. When you wander around to the monitoring station, and there's two of them, and like lots of screens. It's, it's very eerie in this red light. This, you know, because none of the lights are on. You're just seeing dark, lifeless screens staring back at you. Not even you know, the only sort of they don't even give off a real reflection as you, as your lights sort of pass you. Wendy, you do notice something on the first monitoring station. Mm-hmm. Um, by the panels and the key, the keyboard um, in front of one of them, and there's like a, like an old microphone and stuff. And there is a coffee cup. Yes, <laughs> come on. <laughs> a magnetic coffee cup. Is oh, sat, you're so kind to me. sat on a <laughs> on a coaster. You also do see as you as you because um, I guess Wendy's going <laughs> to grab it. Um, even though there is like a magnetic sort of coaster for it, there's still lots of coffee mugs like rings around it. Like someone hasn't always put it on the coaster. Bastards! They deserve all they have. Come into <laughs> true horror. <laughs> <laughs> The- you never said it would get like this, Vince. We need to <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I take a point of stress because I don't have my cleaning equipment with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should. Do you know what? When you don't give me ideas like that, Gab, I'm not going to do it to you because that would be cruel. <laughs> and you haven't lent too far into your janitorial duties yet. So. <laughs> okay, but just know it's there. Just know it's <laughs> there. <laughs> just know it's there. He's on the edge. I'm not going to make The it camera's right. pulling in tighter. And you're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As I walk past, I try and quickly brush it before anyone yeah, notices. Yeah, just not but like off. like you see the the sort of uh, uh, when Wendy takes the cup, you sort of lean down and just wipe the surface, but then you forget about the oily substance that's on your hand, and you've created a smudge, and you're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sanity save coming yeah. always. <laughs> 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 But these, um, the second monitoring station um, is also dead. There's nothing there. Um, 
There's the remains of what used to be a bolted in chair, which must have been ripped free and just is somewhere in space right now. But that seems is that to... just just like the metal. The frame? metal bit is sort of ripped and torn. Not because... any bits yeah. of fabric. No, no. Okay. Oh, there's no perception <laughs> checks. Otherwise, I just and there's not a luck roll either in this system. Um. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll a d100, and above a fifty, there's a there's Can some I bits die? of there's the, there's some bits of fabric. No, there's no fabric. Okay, that's probably my one good roll of the evening as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but how close do you get to the edge where everything has been torn apart, or do you do you stop before you get to that the damage? itself and Sam's not going to go back yeah. near the edge <laughs> it's, quite, it's, quite, it's quite obvious when you get to this point and at this point as well the yeah. closer in you go there's panels off there's wires and you know it's just it looks a wreck up here the closer you get to where this thing got smashed it's awful okay yeah but there's nothing here there's, there's nothing in this bit so is there any power to the access terminal you can wander um, around to the access terminal. I would say that um, everyone except the dock would know that the access terminal is where the the power for the emergency backup mm. is. So the reason the red lights okay. are on is because of that access terminal that's kicked in. The backup generator is there. If you want a better term? Okay. Um, and when you so, uh, do, you think there's a power cell in there? Either that, or I was thinking I've got the spare battery for the laser cutter. We could try and uh, connect that up. Let's see if we Take can uh, squeeze some juice out of that. As you, are you wandering to the access terminal? Yeah, it's a smaller room. Uh, just you know, board servers, all kinds of uh, sci-fi paraphernalia. Um, and sure enough, you do see like a there is like a backup generator that's that's flashing a bit. You do notice on the way to the access terminal as you as you're walking around, there's a lot more of this oily substance leading to the. Mm. It's sort of smeared along the floor in a certain way towards where the tear in the structure is. Um, I'm gonna put the map overlay back so on. The, for the our smears lovely... leading out. Yeah. The, 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 the smear is wherever the the path stops, wherever the white stops, and you've got like a rough edge. There's gunk there, but this gunk is, is there. Th any can we see any going into the access terminal? There's n none really going to the access terminal. There seems to be a, a faint bit of it heading towards those that ladder. Yeah. Okay. It's Dick. I'm just a bit worried that. Uh... Something dragged its way through here and maybe went down those uh, down those steps. Can I take a look at the gunk? I want to see if it's well, if there's any blood to it. Or okay. Anything. Um, you look, and I would say, Doc, make an. Make an intellect check. Can I add my field medicine? Yeah, why not? Uh, that is a 30, so a success. Success. Um, it's very strange. This, the way you're seeing some of this stuff, it's, it is a very... inorganic substance like engine oil but it's congealed in certain ways but it's congealed in a way that almost is it's almost organic in certain ways it's almost like small lumps of flesh in certain points as you are you just observing it what are you doing duck um Taste. i think well, once <laughs> i've noticed it's sort of congealing like that 
I want to get a closer look. Okay. You do see something else in there. Um, and, and it's, ver- it's strange at first. You're like, what? There's something else in there. You don't touch it, I'm guessing, or do you? Not yet. Okay. Um, you see, and it's strange at first. There are small, pale shapes in there. And you're like, what is that? Because you got a success. They're human teeth. Make a sanity save for me, please, Doc. I just went on the floor. Where's that gone? I'll have to roll a different one. <laughs> <laughs> He's so scared. Uh, 36, which is a success. The the scientist part of your brain. There's the there is the horror of this. This shouldn't. This is so strange. But there's definitely a couple of human teeth in there. One of them looks like a big molar. Does the the gunk also resemble what's on most of our vaccines? Yes, the colour of it is very much similar. Yeah. I think there's another one of those things down there. Yep, I think you may be right. And I I'm, also concur. I'm hypothesizing, but I think they might be the crew somehow. Explain the mission crew and the, the human hand. I mean, oh, you ways, Sam. when Doc says this, everyone make a a fear save. Oh, Do I make everyone... it as well? I scared myself. No, no you, okay. you, you're scaring them with what you've said. Oh, great. But, <laughs> but of course, the fear save comes with disadvantage because... Dick, you do not have the disadvantage. Yours is just a straight I don't roll. think I need disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, eight, 86. Oh my god. 86. Mm-hmm. Is that another point of stress? That is another point of stress. That takes me up to 10. Wendy, what did you get? Well, the good roll was a 22. Which would Yay! have been a lovely roll. Yeah. The other one was a 44. <laughs> Oh. Take a point of stress. Wendy, would you like to roll me a panic roll, please? I would love to. And my current stress is six. Oh, that's a twelve. It's a twelve. Which is very good because if Wendy panicked <laughs> And she's the one with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> So the reality right. of and what... another coffee cup. <laughs> yeah. The reality, like I'm more scared of her with the coffee cup. Yeah, than mm. yeah. The reality of Do- Dick. What did you get with your roll? Sorry, I didn't. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So you're level-headed, but yeah. The reality of what he said does sink in for a moment. And Wendy, there is a point when you're like, but you centre yourself. Yes. Deep centering breath look down at the, the three hearts drawn on my vac suit think about the octopus god shut up and just, you know, <laughs> remember that there are things in this universe that are much bigger and, and, and broader than, than we can control and feel um, yeah it might be downstairs <laughs> marginally better <laughs> briefly um, so am I going to try so with this access terminal, then mm-hmm. you said that there was a there's a backup generator. Backup generator. Can we switch it on? Uh, well, I mean, it's already on because that's what's powering the emergency lights. Right. Okay. What were you thinking, Zam? What would you like to do? Well, I don't think the laser cutter battery is really going to be able to power it. No. It's... 
Yeah. Would we be able to get any indication of when this, like with the, from the terminal, I don't know if this would be a terminal or the computers, like when this thing... That happened? information Probably would on. not be from this place. Okay, this this would be from somewhere Is else. there a slot for the um, cartridge? There's no cartridge yet. No. no. This is essentially no, this... access to power, you know, there oh, are okay. backup servers right, okay. and stuff like right. that. This is... You know, make make sure life su- life support was on and everything, but yeah. What do you do, guys? Um, uh, so... I'm tempted to switch it off. See what that does. It puts us in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw genuine fear on Gaff's yeah. face then. <laughs> <laughs> And then none of the doors we, will work. <laughs> if we turn it off and then turn it back mm-hmm. on again. Oh. Oh. Ship will be fixed. Yeah. I mean, it's radical thinking. But I, I kind of like I it. will say this. This is a backup generator. It's not the main power for the whole thing. Yeah. This this structure, yeah. which has taken catastrophic damage, I will say. So if you switch it off, if you switch the backup generator off and then back on again, you're probably going to be where you are now. Probably. Caution against okay. doing anything that might alert anything that might yeah. be downstairs to our presence. So is there anything else about this access terminal? Not right now. Not unless you want to... I mean, there may be a power cell in there that you could take. Yeah, go ahead. I'll have a look. See if there is a power cell inside it. You would need to switch this whole thing off. To safely do it. To <laughs> safe <laughs> torches. <laughs> Can I what set do you think, guys? Torch? Where where are you setting up your torch? On the wall opposite, <laughs> so it's pointing at the access terminal. Okay. Yeah. So it's ka-chum, ka-chum. Yeah. Are you switching it off, Sam? I, mean, I got got my head torch. Well, what what do the others think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love the one. What's, what's the worst that can what's happen? What's the worst attitude? that can happen? Just after I saw PJ do this. <laughs> <laughs> I need that power shell, well, Doc. Right. I mean, it's, I it's, got... What's the worst that can happen yeah. to Zan? Okay. Yeah. 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 He's got ten points of stress. This isn't. Gonna go bad You're going to have to make a check for this, Zan. But what have you got that can help with that? I would say it'd be a, it would be an intellect check to you know so you know what wires to yeah. detach. So and intellect, intellect is forty five. Mm-hmm. I've got industrial equipment for plus ten. It wouldn't be industrial. It's me- not. It's not industrial. I wouldn't allow that. That's more like uh, okay. You know, laser cutters and things like that. Yeah. You do have jury rigging though. Uh, jury rigging, mm-hmm. makeshift repair. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. Yeah. And I've got mechanical repair. There you go. Fixing you can, broken machines. You can have both of those. Forty five. So that gives me 70. Okay, guys, watch me mess this up. So even you surely can't, Jim. Fifty and a zero is 50, yeah? 50. Yeah, success. Yeah. So, get in. Um, it's, it's a little bit tricky to sort of get it out because it is almost like that power cell you had before, that jerry can kind yeah. of power cell but you managed to disconnect it as soon as he switches this thing off this whole place goes doom, and you are in pitch black apart from the lights on, on your suits and the, the mag lights wherever they are this whole place is dark do we hear anything it's in space PJ <laughs> Sound can't travel through space. It's a vacuum. <laughs> you can't. Maybe there's like a little oxygen enough for sound. In yeah. There's you. someone clapping in another yeah. room. You don't. You don't hear anything. Mm. You don't hear anything. It is. You can't hear claps. It is deathly boards. quiet. Okay. So have I got the power cell out now? Yeah. Yeah. So we switch back on the uh, backup generator. Which wouldn't work because you've taken out the parasol. Oh, right, okay. 
<laughs> are you putting it back in and restarting it? Is that what you're, is that what you're gonna do? No, no, no. Okay. I think so. We'll take this power cell to the power cell room and put it in place of the one that was there. Okay. And see if we can power up the. Or we could just take it back to our ship and leave. I like kind of agree with the doc. Yep. And I'm remembering as we came to this satellite relay that there were um, hexagonal panels on the outside, Mm. which may have some salvage value as opposed to whatever's in here. You don't want to go to the crew quarters? No. I'm reluctant. Adventure, Doc. Invented no one dead. There's a couple of storage lockers. There's a storage room. There's a galley. There's a fucking monster. (laughs) Yeah, we killed one. We could kill another. (laughs) The confidence of Sam. Do you know how many people have died of overconfidence, Sam? And shove another power cell in it. Uh, let's not lose this one as well. I mean, if you want to go, we can we can wait. <laughs> it really wants to go down there. It really does, doesn't he? It might be some good stuff down there. And also a boss encounter we're not high enough level for yet. <laughs> Oh, I mean, this isn't that game. There PJ. might be some booze. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, if you want to go down the ladder, I will follow you, and I will stand at the bottom of the ladder, and you will have one minute and a half because you've got <laughs> Maggie boots on, so you'll be really slow. <laughs> now. Two no, minutes. you might be right. Two minutes. No. And then Maybe we um we will if you get hit, we will leave you behind. Oh no, no person left behind. Shit. <sighs> I'd have to come and rescue you and then that's gonna be awkward because there'll be some sort of feeling of obligation and you know yeah. No. You might be right. Let's uh let's take this and uh and get out of here. Can we use the ship's lasers to cut off the um, the panels? If you're going to begin um, figuring out what to do, uh, if you if you want to take apart chunks of this thing, you will of course have to get on the outside of the the vessel as well with the mag boots, which you can do. You can walk around it, um, and there will be some checks, essentially to do your job. Um, so there'll be a couple of checks to identify places of which to. I mean, they, they, these won't be massively hard checks. It's, all, it's, it's a case of you figuring out what's best to do, who's best to do which job, etc. So you can you can start looking at part of the externals, as Wendy said. There's the large, large satellite panels on the outside. There's the at the top of this entire vessel. There's still. There's a like a long sort of antenna at the top, which has got like di- dishes and all kinds of uh, paraphernalia and like communication systems on there. You can chop up bits of that, but you're going to have to work as a team to do this well and to do this safely. Oh. So each of you will have to make a check. Now it is up to you. If this is you want to go, go ahead and start junking and trunking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can communicate with the captain that that's what you wish to do. And what? as soon as you say that, and you say it's safe to do so, from the ship, these two almost like drone-like cables come out. Just like... And they're being piloted by her and Darcy within the ship. And they're almost like clamps that come out, and she directs them to you. So you can chop off bits, clamp them, and then they're pulled back into the ship and the trash compactor more that you have built in. 
Now, sometimes these things need help being guided back to the ship. So the captain's going to make a roll as well for her piloting check. So that we're all working as a team. So, make a note of this. There will be scrap checks. This is a totally homebrew thing that I've created for this game. Just so hey, these wow. just so these guys can do this <laughs> do this check. So this so have a think about what you can do and who's best to do which role. So okay. one of them I mean, the captain's going to make her own piloting check so that she's in the right position to do the right thing at the right time. There's one check, making sure that everything is shut off and safe to begin. Like, going going through and making sure everything is locked down and in place. And, you know, this, play, this thing is turning as well. So, basically giving the heads up and the thumbs up, we're good to go. The other job is identifying points on, the, on this vessel to safely cut the, bit, the best bits to to sort of junk you, you're not chopping up the whole thing this is a massive ve- vessel and you don't it's not like you're just taking it completely one of the jobs is cutting the actual pieces of the vessel itself and the other job is guiding the pieces back to the ship and the trash compacting sort of more so at some point some of you the, the ship isn't too far but it's just make sure they're guided on the right path who would like to do which job Team bonding. This is uh, Zam will cut because he's got the laser cutter. Can I be the health and safety officer, making sure everything's good to go? Okay. I'm guessing that Wendy would know more about bits of ships and value, yeah, than the dock. Yeah, but then I don't know if the dock can see in a straight line. <laughs> I think you surgery. Steady as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going to. So she's going to make. Captain's going to make a pilot check. It'll be 48. She gets a 30. She succeeds. So the captain's going to line everything up. It's not. A, it's not pretty work. This, and certainly it's not. You know, it's not like a super efficient job. Okay, Dick, you're making sure that everything is good to go. Yes. Yes. Um, you have to make a check. What check? Convince me. This is up to the players to convince me. I'm going to make this check. Check, and here's how I'm going to help to do it. What would be relevant? To the job you're about to do. Oh, out of my skills. Mm-hmm. Mm. And what check? It could, you know, you've obviously got your. Well, I was thinking intellect. Yeah. Because I need to use my judgment and judgment. Um, and I was thinking possibly mathematics because it's the study of numbers, quantity, and space. So it's uh, I will know, a- judging the calculations. I will, I will allow that. So okay. that would be 58 altogether. Yep. Do I have to roll for that now? Yeah. You do well, oh, shit. <clears throat> 66. 66. Crit fail. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um... Wendy, you're, mm-hmm. ident- you're identifying points of this ship. <laughs> I'm sweating again. Uh, I, I, you're identifying points on the ship to safely cut. What what checks would you like to make? I know what I'd like to make. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, I think it'll have to be intellect again, if though I don't want to do that. But could I use my rimwise kind of knowledge of space stuff? Mm-hmm. And could I also sneakily use my athletics to get to different points on the ship? You to can totally to do go? that because you're going to have to go on the outside. In order to take off these huge panels as well, you have to spacewalk on the outside and literally cool. point out bits. Probably Zan will go with you, but you're li- literally just sort of like here, mm-hmm. here, here, that kind of thing. Cool. Okay, so that's... Uh, 47. Oh, 
12. Ooh, success. <clears throat> and he's pretty confident about the weak points in this vessel in which to, you know, the struts, etc. Zam. Bernice is getting warmed up as, as yeah. Zam switches on the laser cutter. <clears throat> as it's... Um, the light... Um, did you, uh, you you mounted a light on it? Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm thinking speed. Cut it through quickly. You're gonna go for you're gonna go for quickly. Yeah. Okay. And then you can only use like one of the train skills, can you? You can't. If you talk me into it, I'll allow you to double up. Because this is my game. Well, I've got zero G. Got um, zero G. Yeah, you can use that because you're literally doing this work in zero G. Industrial equipment. Yes, I'll allow that one. Um, and I've got mechanical repair. You're not really repairing; you're breaking apart. So I will allow. Okay. I'll allow so the I first can get two. a plus twenty then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what have you got okay. to beat? Uh, forty-five. I've got to beat sixty-five. Oh, 53. So that is a success. Okay. Doc. As, like, as bits of, like, boosh, he's cutting off these huge struts, and you're on the outside, and, like, even though you, you probably, you're not sure you can feel it, but the heat of this, this cut, it's, it's long work as well, because every time he cuts, he has to reload and warm it up again. Um, I've forgotten how many cartridges we said that the laser cutter had. Five or six? Oh. Like. Um. Not sure on the. So, but while that's happening, Doc, you can you, you know these these drone sort of clamps that come in, and you can grab hold of them and put them in place, make sure everything's safe. It's got to reload. Between charges, yeah, um, and that's an hour. Yeah, I mean, if you're using the same, if you're using the battery, yeah, if you're using the same ba- battery, that would be an hour. But it's got a couple of separate batteries, so, yeah, what, so, whilst, can just slot, so you can yeah. slot one in. It's it, you know, it's laborious work, but he's he's cutting these bits off, and so you can now connect things and start pushing them on their way. What what skills would you like to do with this, Doc? I mean, I have. All my skills are medical based. They are no help. You've got nimble fingers. Uh, that is not one of my skills, or less. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just. I'm gonna go intellect because mm-hmm. it's guiding. Yeah, but it's just gonna have to be a straight intellect roll. Thread the needle, Doc. Oh. Thread the needle. Uh, my, that's a fail. A Sixty-five. I was going for forty-three. Um, for the fails, take a point of stress. Dick, could you make a panic check, please? Gain a point of stress, yeah. And, yeah, so you got that point of stress. Make a panic check. Yep. Unlucky for some, but not for me. <laughs> 13. <laughs> I'm on 7, by the way. The stress. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you've Swiss. You're pretty sure that everything's off. You're you're the only one that's currently in this place, still in this place, in the dark. And you're sure oh, that. Come on, come on, light. You got your light, and you got your light on your. Yep. Suit as well. And you're pretty much your. You know the access terminal's done and. It's good, you gave them the message and then they start cutting away and while while you're stood there just looking around you see one of the panels behind you begin moving as if something's moving underneath it. We'll find out what happens after the break. 
。ああ。<笑>
there's a jawbone where the head would be. <laughs> and it has two sort of pincers above that jawbone, two wires that are sharp. And they, they, they crawl up your arm. And uh, Sorry, they? Or is it just one? Just one at the moment. Oh, good. Just one. <laughs> just, just one. Now, this thing is going to attempt to crawl up, and then it's going to try and puncture your vac suit. Okay? Mm-hmm. Um, but, of course, it happened quickly. So, um, let's see if you have time to react. Now, once again, once again, with the violence in a uh, in mothership, that wonderful, uh, wonderful violence <laughs> that that happens, you get. I believe it's a fear save. Just looking at my notes. Well, what stress have you got at the moment? I'm on seven currently. Yeah. Call for. Um, I'm going to call for a fear save. Yeah. Um, if you succeed, you are able to react first. If not, the creature will get an, get an attack. I did it. You 49. did it. You did it. So as you see this thing, that as it moves, there are like globules of this this also sludgy substance as it crawls up your arm. It gets to your elbow as you see it. It stops for a moment, and it sort of as the jawbone drops down and you see two pincers come out and try to jab at you what do you do you get you have a chance to do something first am i able to grab it like the top of it and pull it off yeah make a make a strength check (laughs) what is my strength oh god Uh, no 89 no you um you grab it and you go to you go to remove it and it's just sort of it sort of digs its strange legs into the vac suit. It doesn't puncture it, but it's locked itself in and it's mm. ready to strike. Um, have you said anything on the comms? The rest of the everyone else is unaware of what's happening. There, uh, guys, uh, there, there's another one. Uh, they're stuck to me. On my way. You just say there's another one. <laughs> I yes. did point out there probably was, but but this is a very different. This is like a this is a small. This is a lot smaller than the thing that you found. You didn't go down that ladder, did you? No. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm very sure. Please hurry. Make a speed check, everyone. Everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I add my zero G to? Yeah. Yeah. To that. Uh, 35. And I had to be 55. Wendy? 73 for a fail. Fail? Okay. Uh, Dick? 65. Fail? fail. Yeah. Doc? 63 fail. Oh, should I be taking stresses? Yes, every time for your fails. Well, that's nine. Yeah. For everyone watching, once again, every time they make a check, if they fail the check, they gain stress. And when they panic, they have to roll above their current stress or something bad happens or they get a condition. Um, What stress are we on currently, Dick? Nine. These things are getting all too real, once again. Zam. You're on the outside with a laser cutter. Mm. I will say from where you are it will take you two turns if all you're doing is getting back inside it will take you two turns to do it I don't think it's wise to try and hit this thing from where I am with the laser cutter You, yeah, because you do not know where Dick is you know he's somewhere underneath you currently right And also, I, cut... I, I will say this: it's on him. Yeah, <laughs> and this Can is I something cut... that's meant for cutting machinery apart. <laughs> Cam's face. Oh, that's Can I... right, so... <laughs> so, if I'm on like a platform and he's mm. under me, 
Can I cut the platform away to get down to him with the laser cutter? If you want to do that, yeah, yeah. I will say you can take this turn yeah. to um, roll whatever... Take um, a chunk out of it. Take a chunk out if you want to do that. But remember, right. um, I will allow you to do this because it, it was almost like you were prepared to cut another part of the, mm. the vessel and it's like, shit, so you're pointing it down. Um, do the checks that you did for you know, cutting the, the ship apart. Yeah, so it's got to be to 65 then. Mm -hmm. Oh, 22. 22. So that is a critical success. Crit critical success. <laughs> so when you... Zam's like, oh, fuck this. And he points down and he just... He blasts a hole big enough to for it to jump... to basically jump down and because yeah. it was a critical success normally I would have said it takes you a turn mm. <laughs> to reload that thing but in the mm. time it takes you to uh, move you can move like over slamming it in yeah take out the yeah and he and he basically stomps on the area and he, I would say let's roll a little uh see where you are actually um let's make a let's make it a, a bit of fun mm-hmm Roll me a D100. This is a pure luck roll. If yep. you get above a 60, you are within... Not touching distance of Dick, but you are close enough to him. Visible. You can see him. I've got an 80. <laughs> you, you see this, Dick. You see... You see the... This, just a whole cut in the roof above you before like <laughs> I'm coming dick <laughs> Zam Brazel appears like boom like like superhero pose Mario. with a Gatling gun <laughs> that's going yeah like woof, 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 woof. like Ram, Bob Hoskins jump. Mario <laughs> <laughs> yes yes I'm coming for you King Cooper so and you <laughs> And you can see now that there's something a lot smaller crawling on Dick. He's going to just go, Wendy, where's that gun? Uh, um, and you can, yeah, you call that out and you hear. And Wendy, you do see this now. You, I mean, Zam's made a hole for both of you to, that's a shortcut. He just created a shortcut with a crit critical success. Um, however, you, you got fails. <laughs> so the creature's going first. As it's going to try and pierce the suit of Dick Sloan. And it rolls a three. And Dick, you see it as this thing sort of. It's not even paying attention to. It. Zam's done something really cool and appeared there. And as you look over, you look down and you just see this thing sort of recoil back. And the pincers, these sharp and sort of wires, just go, and they stab down into you. For oh, that's a D twenty. That's a D one hundred. Don't want to roll that. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, please. <laughs> ten points of damage. Fuck. Three of yeah. those. Three of those are taken as it punches the suit. So you you take set your from your health you take seven points, right? Two, okay. Three, but the three, suit is a you know if anyone else they'd be like, <gasps> it's <laughs> you know so this thing's <laughs> and it you feel it pierce your synthetic skin, and uh, it's got me, it's got me, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it is a very very painful. Do I take any more stresses from could, that? Could you make a body save for me, please? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. You fun. um get another point of stress, and as you feel this thing, you know, as you scream out, you feel like something. There's like a strange feeling. It feels almost acidic in a lot of ways in your arm, and you eyes begin to swim a bit it's, it's very you've never experienced this before in your life it's a searing pain um, so until you have any sort of rest you're 
Can an android get poisoned? But he is. And you got disadvantage. On just full stop disadvantage. On body <laughs> on body saves. Just making a note. Dis on body. <laughs> and Zam, you see this as this thing just, just it's weird. It's smaller and it it just cl- clamps onto Dick's arms. And uh, next, I believe. Wendy, you had the higher fail, didn't you? I believe. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Doc, it is your turn. Oh, I'm, I'm outside the ship, having failed to guide these things. Yes. So I would say it will take your turn to get back to the ship. You've seen what Zam's done. You've heard, and you've turned around. It's up to you whether you go back, because you're kind of halfway through a job. But it'll take your turn to get to the top. So you won't be able to reach Dick in this this round. What does the doc do? Uh, but you also the doc hears there's something in here with me. <laughs> so fucking torn. <laughs> as torn as Dick. <laughs> <laughs> he heads back. Yeah, head back towards the station. Okay. And as you sort of you turn and, and head back, you do hear over the, the comms. Doc, what the hell's going on out there? I don't fucking know. <laughs> He's we got imagine. another one of these things. <laughs> uh, okay, so you can make it to to the hole, or we'll say to the shortcut. Wendy, it's your turn though. Uh, so I was presumably close to Zam. Yeah, you're working with Zam, so you saw what he did and saw him disappear down the hole. So can I do the world's tiniest halo jump and um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> down the hole? Yeah, you can. Point landing. Yeah. Um. And you see, like, through this, like, you see Dick recoiling, and you can see what Dick has for blood is seeping out of this wound. It's like, looks like a metallic. From where you are, from your view, it looks like a metallic claw because it's dark as well. You're going on the lights. Um. Can I try and? I want to keep this coffee cup. (laughs) (laughs) When you've got Um, priorities right. Yeah. It was a short drop down. You're right next to the hole, so you you could run up and it won't it won't take you. You'd be able to run up and get to him, and then you'd have Mm -hmm. a turn. You'd have a you'd be able to do something if you wanted. Okay, so I want to get up to him and I want to grab it. Could you use your hand welder? Can you use a pistol? <laughs> what I want to do is shove a flare into it. <laughs> but perhaps not this <laughs> turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a firework. Um, so I think maybe on this one I'm just going to try and grab it off him. Okay. So... Um... And maybe just shout the word flare. <laughs> As, see if anybody else understands. You see, Wendy. <laughs> Sam's going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dick, you turn around and you see the, the lights of Wendy's visor. She and she grabs hold of it. Make a strength check, Wendy. Is there anything you uh, can? Military training. I'll allow this. And your athletics. athletics? Yeah. Oh, get it off me. 53. And that is a... Oh, my God. It's an 88. A curse number. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Craig Quindy. Oh, that means we go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's 1985. Everything okay, okay. When you got your critical fail, uh, Gav, did I make you do a panic check? I did, didn't I? I believe. Yes, I think you did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did he? Good. Right. Yes. Yeah. So you get a point of stress, Wendy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, make me a panic check, please. You get disadvantage. Oh, no, wait, that's just panic. What did you have to beat, Wendy? I had to beat eight. What did you get? Seven. Uh, if Wendy panics... 
nearby friendly people must make a fear save. Yeah. Whoever, Doc, oh. Doc's not there. That's fine, because it's friendly people, and Sam's not friendly. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but you've just jumped down to save someone's life, Sam, so you've just... Uh, you... <laughs> yeah, so what Objection you overruled. <laughs> um, you have to make a fear save. And I got at disadvantage, because you're near Dick. Can I... Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fear save at disadvantage, because yeah. you're near Dick. Like Dick's just got a straight fear save. Right, okay. Oh, well, first roll is a 17. Yeah. That would have been good. <laughs> yeah. And the second roll, only slightly higher, is 68. <laughs> so let's uh, put me up to 11 on the old stress. Okay. I've Dip. got 24. Is that a success? Yeah. Okay. A success. Wendy. Hi. You have a condition now. Okay. Make this a note. This is something that the warden may use later. You are going to suffer from nightmares. Which means that any um, sleep is difficult and you gain a disadvantage on comfort saves. Maybe there's, there's some... Some trauma, some past trauma, something going on. Um, it won't necessarily affect you now, but that's a condition you now have. Also, this happens because it was a critical fail. You tear this thing off Dick, and it tears. Dick, you suffer another two points of damage as this thing Whoa. rips open a hole in you. And when do Why you did see. It make me feel pain! As, as you see, like, it's sort of like that. You're pulling it... You've, you've sort of pulled this thing off Dick's arms and there's there's android blood floating in zero-G and it's sort of facing like... It's sort of facing that way and then in one quick movement it almost reverses itself and clamps onto you, clamps onto your hands and it's going to take an attack at you immediately. <laughs> Did you shout, Flair? Yeah. Right, and yeah. Sam did. It got a nine. <laughs> so it hits. We should be taking this seriously. Ooh. <clears throat> One point of damage so it doesn't pierce the suit. But the suit is the suit the suit is down to the suit is down to two. <laughs> the suit is down to two it was Wendy. AC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The suit is down to 2 AC. I can't believe I rolled minimum for Wendy's damage and max for, for Dick's damage. Um, although, yeah. Wendy uh, laughs in the space of, in the face of alien spider monster. <laughs> as all this, <laughs> this android blood is floating up around her face like, ha! <laughs> um, you've seen that look before, Dick. You've seen that wide, wide-eyed look of manic behaviour. My, my shoulder is killing. I hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, make another speed check this round. See if you can all. I had the orange dice. Flipping flip. <laughs> this is... oh. So that's a fail. So another point of stress. Yes, Vince. Yeah. Good God. Zam rolled a fifteen. Okay. If you what? fail a stress roll, does it reset, or does it just stay at? No, it stays at stress level. Oh, yeah. God. The higher stress gets, the worse things get for your character. Just keeps. That's why you need to, you need to get out of bad situations and rest. That's the very important thing of this. Right. Back to the ship, everyone. <laughs> uh, if someone had given us a chance, you know. <laughs> now straight straight away we're into like doing jobs and. <laughs> Don't blame me. You wanted to go down the ladder. <laughs> that was that was then. This is now. Uh, okay, <laughs> when, Wendy, what have you got? Uh, despite changing dice, I rolled exactly the same, which was a seventy-three. Seventy-three. So that's a fail for Wendy. Oh no, Doc. What did you get? So angry at these dice, it landed on twenty-two, and then just very slowly rolled to sixty-two and a fail. <sighs> sixty-two and a fail. Uh, Gav, what did your what was your failure? Did you um seventy four? Seventy four. Okay, right. Zam, you're up first. Okay, Zam doesn't have a flare. <laughs> he gave the flares away. 
What does Zam have? Is it as it tried to latch on to Wendy? Then is it? It's trying to, but it's it's sort of like as right, she okay. grabbed it, so it I... tried to pierce her gloves, and it's not. I've got the wrench, to. so I'm going to try and use the wrench to force it off. Yeah, you're just going to pry, just just try it and off. pry it off. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. You can move so, up as you see Zam sort of puts away. Probably, thankfully, the laser cutter that was warming up. <laughs> um, what are we? What are we? Is that combat or? Yeah, I will. Um, depends what you're planning to do. Are you planning to whack it? Or are you trying to prize it off? What? Pry it off. I pry think. it off. I w- this would be a strength yeah. check. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure you have anything that will help with this. Got zero G. Zero G. I'll allow the zero G. Come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be forty-four. I've got to try and get below. So, sorry, Wendy. Oh. Double zero, and a nine. So that's just nine. Nine. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Double oh nine. <laughs> Zam runs up. Jam as you're like you're manic for a moment, Wendy, but then you suddenly realise Oh god, as this thing's trying to pierce your gloves and then out of nowhere Zam appears, jams in the wrench and just pops it like a bottle cap as this thing pops literally off your hands and it's it's scrambling in zero G. But it's not it's it's now floating in space. Do I get a bonus action? No, it's full back. <laughs> no, rage. It is going to. No, just get beneath and slice it. It is going to, as it's sort of floating away from that the the force, it's going to try and grab at you, Zam. But it's going to do with do so with disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Because I just dropped a dice. Right. <laughs> First one was a twenty. Second roll was an 87. This thing can't, <laughs> and it's floating away. It's seemingly, you know, it's getting close to the edge of, like, but you, it, it could do the little prod out if you wanted to get rid of it. So is it floating? It's floating like currently the... in the corridor. It's floating currently in the corridor. Yeah. Near where but Dick, is it, Dick was. Is it, like, heading towards the towards it, space? Or it's currently kind of, it's not really in any direction. It's sort of floating Okay. Yeah, you need to give it a push. And with that, it's the doc's turn. So I'm you you've just gotten you've gotten to the hole, you can drop down if you want. You hear a lot of things going on on your comms. I don't know if I want. Um <laughs> You don't but, have to, Doc. You, yeah, I got What can 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 I see what's going on through the hole? You look down and it's dark. But there's like you can see like the the there's flashlights sort of moving. A lot of people going ah, uh, uh, <laughs> on the other side. And um, Wendy laughing like a maniac probably. <laughs> too sober for this. I'm gonna jump into the hole. Okay. And you, you you jump down into this hole and you can see you can see like I mean it's a black corridor, but you know, as your lights shine on you can see Zam has just done something and something's floating in space. You do see strange pale blood. What colour is Dick's blood, Gav? I was going to say creamy white. Um, (laughs) And you did. I'm sticking with it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Creamy white blood. Like like someone opened up a yoghurt in space. He's popped off again. (laughs) (laughs) And... uh, and there's a little something floating in the air, but you're not quite sure what's gone on. Um, would I need to make a check to like put two and two together as to what's happened and what this thing is? Or you don't know what you haven't seen this. You'd have to get closer to see what this thing is. But you know I... that you heard you heard that something. Dick said something's in here with me. So. And how close to the like the edge of the the opening is is this thing? It's within it. Uh, like, give it a good prod, and it'll it'll float out. Try and get closer and push it. <laughs> what are you pushing it with, Doc? 
Oh, I don't really have anything. Use a flare. You've got a flare. Yeah, I have a flare, but I won't, I won't light it because I'm not. <laughs> if you tried to trank it with that, with the force of a trank dart. <laughs> As you get close to it, oh, dart, you see the horrific details of it. Um, make a sanity save. Having your earlier experience of what you saw within, and now you're seeing a human jawbone. At 31 success. Oh. Weirdly zeroed in. You're fascinated by it in a way. There's a moment where you're like, ah! Fascinating. <laughs> um, and what are you going to do, Doc? Just try and poke it with the unlit flare. <laughs> you don't have to make a roll for that. You can poke it with a flare. I'm going to say another terrible roll this thing goes to grab the flare and it doesn't do it in time and it's floating out of the hole well I said there was another one didn't I (laughs) you did do you think there's another another one I don't want to stick around and find out. I agree with the duck. (laughs) You are near the access terminal, correct? Yeah, should be next to it. Mm. You can... You get the sense that something is moving underneath. And it's... Something's climbing. There's a a loud metal metallic clattering as if something is slowly climbing up a ladder do I still have my phone gun (laughs) a ladder (laughs) as in the ladder next to the access terminal or Mm -hmm. we should go we should just go and (laughs) blow this thing up from the ship captain come in Yes, Dick, what's going on out there? Well, could you pick us up? It's all gone pear-shaped. Okay, make make sure you get to a point where I can see you. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to try and do what I can. We're dragging a bit of salvage as it is. Doc had to... He had to turn around. Is Doc okay? Is he in there with you? Yeah, he's fine. Blessings. <laughs> so, at what point are you guys... Are you guys jumping out of the exit where you are right now? Are you going to wait? Are you going to wait for the, the ship? Clamps? You'd have to go outside. Oh, okay. Because the clamps are sort of being retracted a little bit. The doctor's turned round to help you all. Can we go up the hole that Zam cut? You can indeed. Onto the yeah. roof. I'd say we yeah. should do that. I would yeah. say. I would say. That feels like putting distance between us and the ladder, yeah. which sounds like a good thing. Yes, the hole is kind of close to the ladder, so we're going to mm. make some speed checks, and also, yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to do some speed checks. So, who's going up first? What's the order? Can I add my zero G? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Didn't need it. 27. Okay. Zam gone first then. <laughs> <laughs> the dice okay. have decided. Yeah. Wendy? <clears throat> I'm going to go last. What did you get? I haven't rolled yet. Oh, oh you're going to oh. get. Oh, so you're choosing to go last. Um, yeah. Dick. I'll go second. Got sixty six, which is a fail. Oh, that's a critical fail. A critical fail. Um, could you roll me a panic check, please, Dick? Oh boy, could I? <laughs> I'm watching this crew fall apart. Right. <laughs> Seventeen. Oh. Okay. So, Doc, you're going next. Fourteen on the speed check. Oh. Which is a success. Yes. 14. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So that beats my 27. Yeah, so, so you'd go first. So, so I'm <laughs> just saying that away. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you manage to sort of climb up. And you can... Are you, any of you choosing to look down the hole or are you just going up? Doc, are you choosing to look down the hole? No, just go... Doc, Doc scampers up. He's sort of using the sort of um, the sort of pack as well to give him a bit of a boost. He managed to get back outside and climb out onto the exterior. Zam is next, and Zam, he, you pack Bernice away, and you're going out the way you came in. Dramatically came yeah. in. Well, I mean, yeah. There's nothing I can do to help Dick up, is there? Well, Without having to roll for it, because the roll is going to be really bad. You, you may have to. You may have to roll in a minute. Um, if you want to, Wendy, what are you doing? Are you? I just rolled you, a three. Are you waiting for Dick? I deliberately want to wait to be the last. Okay. So can I use that success to be helpful to him okay. in some way? Okay. Yes. <laughs> then you can. Can I still look down the hole though? Yes, as I'm totally well. looking down the hole as well. Well, you're, bo- <laughs> you're both going to see this <laughs> coming upwards as you're helping Dick, and you're showing, as he's holding his arm as well. So it's a bit more difficult, for Dick, and the pain is still still hurts. As you're being pushed up, and Wendy's trying to help you. There's a <laughs> as you look down, and when you look down, and the shaft where the ladder is there is metal wires, cables, it is a roiling mess of all kinds and at the centre there seems to be some sort of strange almost like a metallic box, it's like a I don't know, it's like a cooling unit, it seems to be some part of a ship of some kind of way and as you see it, it sort of tears open and looks up at you and you see more cables sort of spill out out and upwards like innards just as they reach up towards you and they reach up towards Dick's legs Mm, get off my leg (laughs) and they grab hold of his legs and you feel it around your ankle Dick as it does as there is a like a vice like grip on one of your ankles as it shatters for eight points of damage. And you see Wendy, you see these, these cables sort of fly out like and they rise up and they wrap around. It's almost it's it's weird the way it moves, it's it's almost like a squid tentacles, but these are all mechanical cables. There it's but some of them look like there's soft parts to them. It's no, Wendy, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very strange. It's squid on purpose. Uh, uh, well, that was an accident. <laughs> um, right now, I, I, although I will say, I will say, no, no worshiping it. Make a sanity save for me, Wendy. I mean, perhaps the the the. Godhead is actually the coming together of nature and technology in something like this form. What am I doing? San- <laughs> San- sanity, sanity save. save. Will my theology help? Or my military training? <laughs> Your mi- I feel like it would hinder it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. just going to offset each other, aren't they? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's going to be bad. That's bad. That's a 96. Oh, I'm my. mad with this. Um, she's just frozen for the, for the moment. Um, Wendy, hell. I mean, it's... It's beautiful. Wendy, it's got my fucking leg! <laughs> and Wendy! You know, Speed check. All of us. Keep going, Wendy. Keep going. Don't let me stop you. I've taken so much damage, I have to roll wound. Oh. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Now, for for you lovely uh, people at home watching, everyone has health blocks, and they have a certain amount of health blocks, and when you reach a certain um, amount of damage, you roll for wounds, which is something bad that happens. Like, they could be lingering wounds, or something bad that will happen. If you would um, roll me a d10, please, Gavin.
Two. Two? Two. Um... Then I would say you have a disadvantage on speed checks because this thing has pretty much crushed your ankle. Great. Yeah. You will be hobbling until you can get that fixed. But it still has hold of you at the moment. Cool. And we're just about to do a speed check. A yeah, yeah. Speed check. Yeah. Brilliant. Do I don't take stress for that. Do I take stress for that? Uh no, 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 no. Who got a success? Uh, Zam rolled a Paul Hardcastle. <laughs> <laughs> what, a 19? A no, 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 19. No, 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 no 19. Okay. Yeah. Wendy, what did you get? You got 89. <sighs> okay. Dick. Aptly, a 93. <laughs> Doc. It's got my fucking leg. <laughs> um, 44, which is a critical fail. <laughs> You it's been lovely playing off. this game. <laughs> God, this is, see, see, folks, this is how badly, how quickly it can go badly fast. We're only on our third episode yeah. and we're all going to die. And that, well, not you, Doc, because you've got to make a panic check. Oh, good. Add your, add your point of stress and then make your panic check. Uh, 16, so uh, success. Success. Got, um, nine on my stress at the moment. Okay. <laughs> but you are pretty much sort of locked in place. Uh, but Zam, mm. you can see that you, you're the only one that's going to go before this thing, and you heard what Dick was saying, and you can you can now look down and you see that Dick sort of reaching up trying to get Ooh, out. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy was helping, and she what? I mean, she did Wendy stopped. step back? Did she stop helping for a brief moment? I think she's. Probably sort of still as if helping, <laughs> but really more transfixed. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Thinking about so the if, Shinto octopus spirit that eats its own legs. If and, Zam and tries its to. Its legs being eaten, and this is somehow important. I don't think Dick feels that way at the moment, Wendy. Mm -hmm. uh, Zam, look the look on Gaff's face. <laughs> Zam. It is. If Zam was to try and cut this, whatever's got hold of Dick's leg, if he was to try and take a slice out of it with Benice, how close is Wendy? You're going to have to fire down through this hole, past Dick, yeah. past Wendy, down the shaft. You can see something roiling and moving under there. Mm. If you aim well, because of the light... So what if I was to just try and take a shot at it rather than... If you want to take a shot Rather than trying to disconnect... Yeah. Like, rather than trying to disconnect the, whatever's got hold of his leg, yeah. is just take a shot, shot at it. at it, whatever's down yeah. there, yep. I will say this. Normally, yeah. for this sort of difficult shot, maybe I would have given disadvantage. Hmm. But earlier, Zam attached a magnetic light... To the front of yes. his laser cutter, and he, he can did. use that. So it'll be a straight combat roll with yep. your. Is it heavy machinery? What's the? Uh, I've got industrial equipment. Yes, I've got zero G and jury rigging, and then I've got mechanical. Repair. I will. I will make a combat roll. You can add yeah. zero G because you've got to lock yourself in place while you do this. Yeah, and it will be the industrial equipment because you're trying to cut something. <laughs> with an industrial laser cutter. Right, so Mate. that's 61. Oh, this is going to go bad now, isn't it? Did you say this was with advantage? No, or is it's, it a, just straight, that I got it's a straight roll because you, it would have been disadvantaged and I've taken that off. Oh. 95. Importantly... It's not a critical. <laughs> Very important. But that, but so that you, takes me up to 12. Yeah. On the so you line up and you click and you Fuck. You're going to need to. The battery shorted. Damn it, Benice, you let me you're gonna down again. You're going to have to. 
replace the battery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> it is the creature's turn. And you can see as more of this thing moves out, as as I imagine Dick is halfway, he's sort of holding on, trying to get out. As more of this thing rises out of this hole, you can see part of this like mechanical structure of it's very strange Wendy it doesn't look like it belongs here this doesn't look like I mean you've been wandering around this entire vessel and you've been kind of clocking like yo this is old sort of machinery this doesn't look out this is looks like part of something that shouldn't be here and weirdly as it moves entirely out of the hole as it's more opens up and moves towards dick and it's going to try and bite Dick. <laughs> you see, you see something else that's weird. Yeah, yeah. Get that giant mort. No, no, I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. Um, but there's something. It's dragging something with it, and it's strange. It, it, it almost rises like like an Audrey two made of junkyard scrap. But behind it. There are yet more mechanical pieces and cables, and intertwined with it is a torso. But a torso that's leaking a lot of creamy, pale blood. And it's sort of. And for a brief moment, it looks at you, Wendy, and it looks worried doesn't look angry it looks worried and you can see it it's scrabbling to try and find purchase as this thing moves upwards as this thing is going to try and bite and swallow Mr. Sloan <laughs> I'm going to swallow dick <laughs> yep yep <laughs> fucking hell my dick <laughs> my next character is called uh, Cock Fanny so... <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, God. (laughs) As this thing moves over and it clamps over the bottom half of Dick's body. And it does. Another nine points of damage. And as this... It is like a vice just caught you around the waist, Dick. And oddly, you immediately begin... You feel the acidic burn. As something might be trying to digest you. Oh, it's doing a quint. (laughs) Yeah. This might wake you up, Wendy, but we'll see. <laughs> um, it is now the Doc's turn. <laughs> Stood out there. Oh, I forgot, I forgot I had the helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he he really, really wishes. Um, I can I see anything organic on this thing at all? You can't. You you got to look down and see it. I look down. Yeah. It's there are bits of organic material, and you can see something moving underneath. But the way you're looking, you're looking down. Just imagine looking down a sewer grate, and there's all of that carnage going on. It's difficult to see what's going on. One thing you do notice. Is the Susan O'Brien is moving into position? Okay. Uh, I, I radio and say, um, Captain, we're utterly fucked down here. If you could uh, speed things up a bit. And then I'll just try and shoot with the trank gun and hope I hit something that I can tranquilize. <laughs> okay, shoot down and shoot with disadvantage. It's a combat check, is it? Yeah. Do not critically fail. Oh, God. 
Well, I can tell you I've already failed because, uh, oh bloody hell! <laughs> okay, I rolled a ninety-one and a ninety-three, so the shot goes wide. It goes close to you, Dick, but it doesn't hit you. I don't notice. I'm in too much pain. <laughs> yep, yep. I don't know how. I mean, Dick is not looking good right now, but as it is next on the the turn, it's Wendy's turn now. Yeah, like at this point, Zam would be yelling on the comms, "Shoot it, Wendy! Shoot it!" So the previous thing that Zam said was, "Damn it, Bernice! Don't, don't you let me <laughs> let down me again?" Down. And so yeah. all Wendy is hearing is some sort of hideous flashback to something. Yeah. Of, you let uh, me down again. Yeah, you yeah. let me down. You let me down. You let me down. And, Lots and of gunfire in the background. Yeah. And... yeah. <laughs> Shaking her out of this. And, yeah. So. Shoot her! <laughs> Wendy is going to... Shoot her! <laughs> <laughs> plan is to badass her way out of this and to clip the magazine into the gun and just start pumping bullets into this thing and so it's a combination of you know the bit in the A-Team movie where they're in the tank and they're <laughs> shooting at the ground so they're yeah. kind of controlling flight so I'm trying to kind of this is many <laughs> actions in one, shooting down whilst it's pushing me up Yes, like because you, you yeah, yeah because you 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 fire this thing. I mean, the bullet will have the force it has, yeah. but it's the recoil that will push yeah. you. So there's also a slight bad boys element of this, yeah. that, like we are super slow. So like, I'd imagine yeah. Wendy at this point, when she snaps into action, she almost climbs up this thing and then points the gun down at this thing. So she's right next to you, Dick, as this ha- ha- happening, and she's just got a look on her face and. You're going to shoot this thing at point blank range. Yeah. Repeatedly. <laughs> I would say, because I love... As many I, times as I'm allowed to in an I, action. I love that, and I will say... Make a combat check with advantage. Depending, if you get a critical success, I will allow you to open the clip. Empty the clip on this thing. If you get a critical success. Combat. Can I add, I can add my military training? Yeah. Probably it. Yeah. An advantage because everybody's yes. cheering you on. <laughs> Wendy, 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 Wendy. I'm relieved I don't have to trank her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might want to. Oh, <laughs> with advantage, thank God, because yeah. that's not the 99 then. Um, that would be the 65, which is a fail. You miss. Bye, everyone. You, you only get one shot off. But it's sort of like, well, it's not that you miss. You sort of, and it's almost too close, and it just, and you move, you move a bit. You start to move past Dick a little bit as it pushes you. It's beginning to push you upwards, but you missed. <laughs> Dick, just hear the voice. You let me down again. Yeah, you let me down again. Gun firing. You let me down again. Um, is Wendy sort of next to me? Well, she was, and then when she fired, she was almost too close, and she's starting to move upwards. <laughs> yeah, has she moved past me? No, not probably quite. Run yet. out of action. My intention was to grab yeah. you. But yeah, I'd probably run she, out but of she, action. She, because that happened, she didn't expect that to happen. She's scrambling. She's trying to grab you. I hold. I, I sort of grab her leg, yeah, her foot, and I say to her. Look after my b- 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 fish, and then <laughs> I ignite a flare. And then can I sort of just sort of st- not stick it down my pants? But you know, <laughs> <laughs> what a- he died as he lived with his <laughs> pants on fire. <laughs> stick it. I tell no lies. Um, yeah, I try and I try and flare it in the mouth more. I love this. I love this. Um, then I would say, what sort of um, make a combat check? But what can you add, Gav? Can you? Is there anything you can add to this? 
Linguistics? <laughs> no. Computers? No. No. Mathematics? No. And hacking? Well, mathematics. Again, no. no. It's part computer, so you know. I, I would. Um, do I play? I mean, Dick's in a pretty bad position right now, so. I'm, I'll play it straight. If you want to play it straight, then yeah. What? Go for it. Come on, Dick. Seventy-one. That's a fail. This thing's got too much of a vice grip around. Because he's just—you can't get the flare in. It's going. Oh, that's another point of stress as well. Um, Make me a panic check, please, Dick. That was a nine, and I'm on fourteen. Your condition is cut in half. You are de- <laughs> you are deflated, not literally. <laughs> um, <laughs> just hear a loud bang in your ears. So, if you survive this, you have the condition of being deflated. Whenever a nearby crew member fails a save, gain one stress. Oh, okay. But so right but right now it it is making sense that it's like this isn't nothing's working on this thing. As the ship begins turning <laughs> into place and it's almost it's almost ready as you hear going I'm almost ready, Are you guys ready to go? It's not. <laughs> I'm gonna start this off to see if the captain can make a piloting check to make sure, see if she's got the option to 32, she, she made a check so on this turn she's in position for you guys to get out so for is the ne- this thing still like part of it's still down the yeah well the there is the torso of an android hanging from the bottom of it that Wendy saw yeah but there's still stuff going down through that hole where the ladder is. A, a little bit, but most of it was this android. This It's this whole okay. thing. The, the, the way that this thing has been climbing up has been the cables and the, or, the sort of strange techno-organic oh. stuff that's going on. Um, so there's no point in asking the captain to use the large cutter she on the... Yeah, because she won't be able to see what's going on. She's got to hold the ship in place Okay. for you guys to get off. But she's in place for the next couple of rounds. It's getting tense. Stick with us for the next ten minutes, folks, to see how, how we do. Um, make a speed check, guys. Take my dice. And I don't know whether some people would do this on every round, some wardens or things like that. I'm choosing to because then, you know, if they fail on the first <clears> one, <throat> you don't want them to fail every time. So they've always got... 78. So Zam got 78. So is that another point of stress? Yes. It's quite a stressful yeah. situation right now. It, well, it is, yeah. And he's on mm. 13. Okay. Wendy. 51 for a fail. 51 for a fail. Dick, what did you get? 37. Fail. Doc. 8. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> can you share these around a little bit? <laughs> Doc, you're going first, as you can see. Oh, I kind of want to. <laughs> Lights his pipe and floats off yeah. the newspaper. Now, Doc. I did what I could. You have a choice. Hi, guys. You have a choice. <laughs> the ship is there. It is within moving distance. If I just leaned into the hole, would I be able to reach Dick? Wendy's currently in the way. Fucking Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> you could get Wendy out You could reach Wendy. Yeah. Oh, no. Wendy's fine. She's not been wrapped in tendrils. Um, <sighs> could you reach Wendy and could Wendy reach Dick? Yeah, I will shout. Wendy grabbed Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> then, 
And then I'll reach down to grab Wendy and hopefully pull them both out together. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, essentially hold an action. You're going to try and grab her. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So when that happens, if this happens, then I'll get you to make a strength check. Probably with a bit of advantage because of the zero G and everything. So, and they're not really locked down. The mag boots aren't really locked in, so you're not fighting against anything. And zoology, because Wendy's a creature. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this week it's everyone's turn to have a go at Wendy, Lizzie. How do you feel about that? It was Anne last week. No, um, no, no, it's good. It's okay, good. <laughs> okay. So, but before that happens, the creature goes first. We're going to make a contested strength check, Dick. Oh, you rolled that well. This thing's going to try and pull you entire, entirely into its mouth. Ooh. Pull the rest okay. of you in. Okay? Ooh. God, I'm panicking. I'm so, my hands are so sweaty. This is so... <laughs> it's stressful, isn't it, Vince? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do I have to beat you? Mm -hmm. What did you roll? What did you roll? Well, I've not rolled yet. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> do I want a high number or a low number? You want to beat me. Yeah, but d d in what way? Do I want a lower number than you or a higher number than you? <clears throat> oh, you want to? You should get a higher number than you. Yeah, this is a uh, yeah. We're playing with shut mechanics. up, Sam. We're, we're playing. Oh, with... uh, sh sorry, no. Lower, lower, lower is better. Lower than number. Than yeah. shit. It's always better to be that. <laughs> About the same. About the same. Wait, are we doing D one hundred as well? Yeah, it's D one hundred. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what are you landing you on? Want to roll exactly? What did you roll? Rolled. What did you roll? I rolled a six. Which beats your strength, surely. I rolled a 17. I will allow you to fight against this thing so it does not swallow you on this turn. However, however. Did we, maybe we made up a rule then? Who cares? We're having fun. Right. <laughs> you might be. You take you take five points of acid damage as this thing continues to melt your legs. Oh my god! I know uh, another roll wound. Uh, I think D ten. Yeah, D ten. Uh, zero ten. Ten. Um, I will use it as the the bleeding. Um, oh no 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 no! I won't. It will be gore and massive damage on the wound roll. Um, you throw up, you vomit. So as this thing's crunching <laughs> down on you, it's the when bishops like <laughs> yeah. this just yeah. oh, it's just it's trying to munch. And you've got a it's it... <laughs> got a helmet on there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 So it's just filling the mask, which means. Oh, you've got a disadvantage on your next action. So you've got... So just anything coming up, any roll, yeah, disadvantage. Yeah, but your crew have a chance to help you, but it's your turn first, Dick, as this massive damage is... You can feel it. This thing's trying to swallow you, and as, it, as the tendrils are sort of wrapping around you, you're pushing against it as you're doing so you can feel the suit is ripping the synthetic skin is tearing um, much like that scene in the thing when the head separates from the body and it stretches you can feel like bits going ding ding like bits of your internals are tearing this is a horror game folks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but Dick it's your turn what would you like to do you've still got that flare in your hand <laughs> is it still lit it is still going, yeah, yeah. So it's still, but you can just... I can I try again to find a yeah a hole yeah stick it in yeah. 
Is that a combat? <laughs> yeah. The combat. Right? Or, or, um... Because you tried combat last time, don't you? You, you tried brute force last time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've already rolled, and it's, it's a ter- terrible roll anyway. So. Oh, is it? Oh, I would have allowed intellect, maybe, so if you used to spot a place, you could... They're both disadvantaged. Yeah, yeah. I rolled a 75, so yeah, that's not going to work. Just not working. Just I'm not just working. sort of feebly... Yeah, I would say you're probably... Yeah, and, you, and you're losing grip. Yeah. On the flare. <laughs> Dick's not looking good. Uh, when do you see this? It's your turn. Okay, so can I flip in zero G? Yeah, you're so sort that of I can yeah. reach down. Yeah, towards Dick, knowing that the dock is behind me, and can grab my legs. Hmm. And I'm sorry. I'm going to grab hold of him, and I'm going to pull with all of my might, knowing that I'm probably going to rip him in half. Yeah. But half an android is better than none. Yep. You go, I would say you're going to have to make a strength check, Wendy. Mm-hmm. Plus your athletics to turn. Yep. And when cool. this, if you can, if you can do this, also, Doc, because you rolled so well. How do you want to do this? <laughs> Sorry, wrong show. Um... <laughs> Do you want to do a strength roll, or do you want to give Wendy advantage with what she's doing? Do you want to use your success to pass it on as an advantage? If Wendy succeeds, but I don't make a roll, does that, that will work. All... That will work because it's like you've worked as a team to do it. It's essentially like a help action. You know, you're it's both... probably better knowing my strength stat. It's probably better if I, mm. I give Wendy advantage. Yeah. Okay. So this is strength plus my athletics. Yeah. At advantage. Oh, God. I'm just thinking. There's nothing I can add. This isn't in the military handbook. (laughs) This is not. (laughs) And my God has abandoned me momentarily. Here we go. I'm looking for a 43... you doc 14 14 yes. sorry dick <laughs> as this happens this literally happens and Sam it's your turn next to so have a think about this as you see like Wendy turns like a swimmer when they get to the end of their alley she spins and doc grabs hold of her legs and as he pulls she puts all of her might and dick you feel there's, there's a pain, there's the horrible pain of what's going on, and all of a sudden a huge release something goes and you just feel yourself rising up um, and Zam, what you see is the dock sort of like reeling backwards as the sort of the, the momentum of Wendy pulling, sort of takes him off his feet for a second, Wendy comes out of the hole followed by at first there's like just an absolute torrent of android blood followed by the torso of Dick Sloan in Wendy's arms as she's pulling half of him out of this hole and then you look back as you see like the mouth just sort of his legs disappear into the mouth of this thing it is your turn are they floating away? They're not or... floating away. The doc sort of... He's got hold of her leg. And she's got hold okay. of half of an android. Um, so what kind of clear I would line say, of sight have I got now to what, slice this thing? Before this happens, Gav, what are we looking like health-wise? Not good. How much damage did that give me? That's what I'm about to ask. How much, how much have you got left? This is doing massive internal damage. And eleven. Eleven. Can crochet use some legs? Two D ten. Two D ten. Oh fuck. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> Better to be ripped apart by your friends than eaten by an alien. Just, just give me a good funeral. <laughs> I'll look after the fish. The hideous damage is nine points. <laughs> oh. Dick, you feel your system start to... <laughs> but you are... But the, the model Dick Sloan <laughs> may be salvageable. Zam, as this happens, and you look down, as you see Dick's legs <laughs> disappear into this moor, and you can see this thing like... And you, it's beginning... It's, sort of, it's almost looking up. It doesn't have eyes, but... You're, you've got a proper sh- shot on this thing. I will say also, <laughs> look, at this, look at my players right now. Look at what this game does. <laughs> look at what this game does. I will say with all of that, everyone. Eyes. Oh, no. It's got to be a save. I would say make a sanity save. Jesus. Dick, no, you don't. You're almost out of it alright because of the nature of it it was almost an automatic body save which almost you know you were ripped in half if you were human just think about this Gav if your character was human oh full on dead (laughs) full on dead probably wouldn't have done it (laughs) probably mercy clipping yeah (laughs) what do we get on the sanity saves so my sanity yeah does the doc my sanity is 35. Yeah. And I rolled a 33. Zam keeps it together. Which is also critical. A crit... Okay. Because this happens, Zam, and you completely lock in like... Fuck. Laser focused, you will get advantage on whatever you're going to do for your turn. But let's bear in mind... uh, Wendy, what did you get? Twenty-six. Twenty against a twenty. Oof, Fail. So, so it's just, just point of stress, naturally, because it's quite stressful. Doc. Uh, sanity is fifty-three, and I rolled a thirty-seven. Oh yeah. So you're just too focused. You were too focused on the job at hand. You're trying not to look at. You didn't have to look down the hole. You didn't. You were just like just get, <laughs> just get them out. Um, and it's now, as you can hear, the captain sort of reacting to what she's seeing coming out, coming out of this hole and it's Zam Brazel's turn just stood over as this creature's looking up Zam what those you... three are still holding on to each other yeah yes so if I had my speed and I could add my 0g to it and I'm rolling with advantage can I try and launch myself in their direction to push them towards the ship and then tell the captain to get ready to catch us? Iron Man 3? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two, three. Hey, I saw this in a documentary about this guy <laughs> that built his own ship. <laughs> you can totally you're you're welcome so, to try Zam. I, I, can roll I love under that. A 55, As you see and then just Yeah. Get us as far away as yeah, I can yeah. towards the you, ship. Make the roll, and I'll I'll let you know how well it goes. And I got advantage. Yeah. yeah. Right. So the first roll is an eighteen. See if you can get a critical. And second roll is a twenty-five. <laughs> so we go with the eighteen. With the eighteen. At first, like looking down and seeing this thing, and as it as it sort of looks up and it begins the cable start, you decide the better course of action is to get out. And as you look up, <laughs> Doc Forrest <laughs> holding on to Wendy <laughs> and the torso of an android, like like it's some crazy balloon. <laughs> um, you then look over and you see the Susan O'Brien appear in your vision behind them and you know the time is right fuck this place let's get out of here and you I've never been so glad to see that piece of crap in my life <laughs> <laughs> we're coming in captain we're coming in hot uh, and, and Zam 
uses his the thrusters on the pack to just push you all and momentum carries you the rest of the way um dick you're just along for the ride like <laughs> half there and the captain's now going to make a roll to see if she lines up the airlock that she's opened up for you she's been doing well on her straight into an engine yes yeah, she's <laughs> been doing well on her piloting check we all die she's been doing well on her piloting check so she you just hear wendy say dick you will see your fish again she you must... will see your fish again no response what fish mm-hmm. the hell's a fish <laughs> she got a 44 oh god and she was aiming for a 50 and that's critical yes so she perfectly oh. lines this you tumble literally into the airlock and like as everything she goes god damn shut the door shut the goddamn door and uh, the last thing you see before the airlock closes the door closes I mean it's still got a window in it but you can still see the door closing is some strange creature appear from out of this hole it's more covered in pale android blood and that's where we're going to end this week's session I'm sorry <laughs> thank you no you saved me yes <laughs> That genuinely may have been the tensest tabletop game I've ever played. (laughs) You have been listening to Safe Space, a tabletop role-playing podcast featuring the Mothership game system by Tuesday Night Games. Playing the game were Jim Bamfield as Zam Brazel, Lizzie Boyle as Wendy, Gavin Mitchell as Dick Sloan, PJ Montgomery as Dr. Bill Forrest and Vince Hunt as the Game Warden. Podcast produced and edited by Vince Hunt. In-game music composed by Tabletop Audio. Visit tabletopaudio.com to discover a world of ambient music you can use in your home games. The Safe Space theme was composed by Elliot Red. Find more of Elliot's work on YouTube. To find out more about the Mothership RPG system, visit mothershiprpg.com Follow the show on social media at Safe Space RPG and for more podcasts visit lawbreaker.podbean.com This has been a Lawbreaker Radio production.